practical brickwork skills to apprentices and students. Phil Brewster reports. UK Where's that? Midlands is in the middle of a building boom. But could it be derailed by a shortage of skilled tradespeople? No, I'm desperate. We're off for bricklayers at the moment. So frustrated is Ian by the lack of qualified building workers, he's teamed up with Derby College to launch a bricklaying academy. As well as teaching practical brickwork skills, students will receive individual mentoring and attend special masterclasses. What we're going to try and do is replicate the day of the bricklayer. We're going to start early in the morning, we're going to be laying bricks every day, and there's going to be academic studies in the afternoon. Our students um, not only get the um, knowledge, but are also given the opportunity from day one to work with employers to get the practical skills they need to make a smooth transition from education into employment. And it seems the demand for experienced builders is growing. According to the recruitment specialist Manpower, the shortage of qualified workers means some firms are having to turn down opportunities to bid for work. Others are resorting to hiring bricklayers from abroad, paying in some cases up to £1,000 a week to plug the skills gap. For these students, the prospects of learning on-the-job practical skills in an industry with improving career prospects was too good to miss. I was always told to sort of learn a trade. And this is obviously the best way to do it and I do like enjoy brick work. Creative side, you know, you get to look at your own work and be proud of it. You've got plenty of room in here, you know, you've got all the mixings in tubs, it's easy access. You're not all cramped in, just pretty much you've got a big bay to do all you want to. Do you think you've been prepared well for the world of work then? Yes. Once they're qualified, Ian's hoping to take on some of these students himself and says those with the right drive and ambition can enjoy big rewards. One of the students that we're going to take on in September, I want them to be earning a thousand pound a week within five years, and that would be great. And that's a realistic prospect. Absolutely, yes, absolutely realistic. We've got lads in ex earning in excess of that at the moment. With figures showing unemployment falling again in the region today, the demand for skilled tradespeople only looks set to increase further. For these students, at least, the prospects look rosy. Bill Brewster, ITV News, Derby. Well, earlier I spoke to the regional secretary of the Midlands branch of construction union, UCAT, and asked him why there was such a shortage of skilled workers. Well, I think the country, uh, the government failed and the uh, industry itself failed to invest in young people in this country uh, at a time when there was an economic downturn. That was the ideal, the ideal time and, and people like myself as a trade union official and the trade unions itself were actually telling the government and the industry that was the time to invest and to, and to start proper training in place. So are we going to be able to make up the shortfall because presumably now you're bringing in labour from abroad? Yes, it's, 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 it's going to be difficult. It's going to be difficult to actually um, to cover that. It's going to be difficult for, uh, for the industry uh, in the short term to be able to recover. Um, I think we need, uh, we need the proper investment and we need, uh, we need the training, but there's no short term fix. It's going to be a long term, it's going to be a long -term um, investment uh, by the government and the industry. Uh, unfortunately, um, it should have been done years ago, as the unions were saying. Now, you just mentioned investment a couple of times and you talk about the 